Hi there, Nicole Herrick with you from Nicole Herrick Website Design and Product Photography. I'm going to take you through how to add products to your Wix e-commerce store. So we need to go to Wix and we need to log in. If you don't see this little sign in button right away, just scroll and it will pop up in the side. It's just a little annoying thing that Wix has at the moment. So we want to make sure we're on existing user rather than new user and pop in our email address, this one and our password. Okay, so now we're on our dashboard section and we want to go into the site editor. So this is my one that I have live at the moment and I'm going to click edit site. And now it's just going to load the online editor for me. And this will take maybe 20 seconds or so. All right. So here we are. I'm on our home page at the moment. What I want to do is go to our store section. So over here, I can click through our pages. There's also, a, uh, sorry, yeah, no, just this one. Um, so I want to go to one of our shop pages, any one of them. And then I can close that little menu there. And I just want to click on where the products actually are. And this is our shop app. So now I need to click on manage products. And here is our back end of our shop. So at the moment, I've got 35 products in this store. So this is all of my products. And I also have collections within um, the store. So I've got um, all of them are in all products. I've got some that are in baby boy gifts, bestsellers, which I have on the home page, um, new arrivals, which I have as a separate page, and lots of different categories. Um, and these categories are all quite keyword specific from this target audience of the brand. All right, so if I just want to add it to the general products list, all I need to do is go add product. So add a name. Whenever you're adding a name, always make sure it's keyword rich. So this um, brand sells organic baby products. So I'm going to put 100% organic cotton uh, onesie. And I might also put baby onesie in there. And I'm going to put blue because that's the colour. And I'll put my price in. Oops, five. And um, if you don't have this one in stock yet, you can turn the visibility off um, so that when you've got it in stock, all you need to do is go in and turn the visibility on. Okay. Um, now we can add a description. Make sure this is in sentence structure and makes sense, but you really want it to be keyword rich. Now I need to add my product images. So all you need to do is click on the plus sign. And if you already have um, your product images in here, see I've, I've set lots of them into folders so I can make sure because I've got hundreds of images for this website. Um, if you don't have your images in there already, what we can do is go to upload images and then go and find these on our in our um, folder. Flat layers, dot range, edited. All right, so we want our blue onesie, which is here. And also make sure before you upload that the image names are keyword specific to what the product is. So I've got organic, cotton, baby boys, grow suit, onesie, blue. Okay, so I'm going to upload that in. There we go. And you can also upload loads of files at the same time. Okay. All right, so here is my file. It's already ticked. Um, if you have several files, you can just hold down shift and click, oh sorry, control and click several files. You can turn off these ones because I just want this one. Okay, actually, I might also grab an example shot. There we go. So I've got two shots. Okay, apply. And there we go. I can actually swap these images around if I want to and put that one first but we've got all of our white ones at the start. Now, I always suggest doing square images um, 
for all of your website images in the products in the store, just because that keeps it easy to view. Um, and it also allows you to add landscape and, and portrait images, but crop down to square so that it's a good medium between the two. All right. So we've already put our price in up the top here. This section is if we want to add a 20% discount or a discounted price if it's on sale. And you could put a ribbon over the top of it that says um, new, uh, new arrival or you might put on sale. If you have an SKU, you would put that in here. And uh, so that if people want to search via SKU, they can. And then if you're shipping products by weight, so if you're pricing them, by, you know, you want to add, so say if you've got lots of different products and they all weigh different things and you want to calculate your shipping costs via the weight and it adds, you know, five things to the basket, it will add up all the weights and then it will choose the right parcel weight and cost that um, perfectly for you. So that, that's a great way. Other people have flat rate um shipping or you might have just free shipping in that case you don't need to put in a weight okay now i've got to decide what um, collections it goes in so it's already put it in all products i'm also going to add it to my baby boys gifts and my new arrivals okay now we have our inventory and options so uh, i want to make sure that i'm adding in my inventory because i have different sizes in this one so i'm going to say i've got 30 in stock and i can't personalize this one but that's great if you've got um, you know artworks or something like that that you put people's names on uh, but i do have sizes so i'm going to say i can choose from a list and I'm going to call it size and I'm going to add in not, 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 and not. So these are baby sizes. Okay. And then you're going to add options. So if you wanted color as well, um, and then you're going to also add more. And then there's extra, but I'm going to choose save. And we are done. If you want to create the same one in a different color, just choose duplicate. And that's how easy it is. That will now show up in all of your categories in your store. Okay, should be good. Thanks. Bye.